If you're browsing online on your iPhone and bam, you get this message that looks like this. It says there's a virus on your iPhone. It has detected it. And it says essentially it'll walk you through how to remove that virus or how to remove that malware. I'm going to walk you through the entire process. Keep in mind, you do not want to tap that button that says remove virus. Now you want to do these other steps. I'm going to walk you through the entire thing. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now let's hop out of here because you don't want to click on anything. As soon as that pops up on any website, immediately close out of Safari or Google Chrome. And now from here, we're going to go to your settings. So open up the settings app. Oh, let me go back here to the beginning. Open up the settings app on your iPhone. And from the settings app on your iPhone, we're going to scroll down until we get to at the very bottom, it says apps. Tap on that. Now, from here, we're going to check both Chrome as well as Safari. So let's scroll down first to Safari. It'll be down on this list. Just tap on Safari when you see it. And from here, all you need to do is scroll down to the very bottom. At the very bottom, you're going to tap on Advance. You can see that. And now you can get to website data. I would highly recommend tapping on this and clearing all of your website data associated with Safari. A lot of times when those messages comes up, it could potentially be malware itself. And if you click on it, it could download a virus onto your phone. So you want to delete out everything. So scroll down, tap remove all website data and remove. So delete out everything. Now, after you've done that, I would highly recommend going back out of here. Still in the Safari settings, make sure you turn on fraudulent website warning, not secure connection warning. Essentially, turn all of these on to help prevent this from happening in the future. But let's also go back and check Google Chrome as well. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to scroll up until I get to Google Chrome here. So it might be under the C section. There it is. Now I'm going to go here and essentially do the same thing. It won't let me in here, I guess. So let's swipe down, type in Chrome to open it up. And now from here, tap on the three dots at the bottom, right? And from here, just go to the history. You can see that little clock and hit delete browsing history and delete. So you want to delete out everything from Safari as well as Google Chrome. Now, after we've done that, we're going to check to see if there's a virus that has been downloaded onto your iPhone already. And you can check for that by, again, swiping down from here and you're going to type in files and open up the files app. Now, you might see a screen that looks like this. You're going to tap on my iPhone and from here, tap on downloads. Now, once you're in downloads, you're looking for something that looks sketchy. In this case, Xcode Ghost. Dot zip. I don't remember downloading that onto my iPhone. So essentially, this could be a virus or malware. It could be any file that you don't remember downloading. Now, from here, I would highly recommend tapping the three dots at the top, right? Tapping on select here. And we're going to select that specific file and hit the trash can icon at the bottom. After you've done that, that's not permanently deleted. You need to go back out of here, tap on recently deleted. And from here, tap on the three dots at the top, right? Tap on select again. And now finally, you can hit delete all at the bottom, right? So this will delete out all of those viruses or any basically sketchy files that are on your iPhone. After you've done that, the next thing that we're going to do is check your calendar. So you'd be surprised how many times a virus comes into your iPhone from your calendar. So again, I'm going to swipe down from here and tap in calendar and open it up. Now from here, you'll be able to see at the bottom center above, below that little nine is the little calendar icon. I'm going to tap on that. And what you're specifically looking for is anything that says subscribed. So if you see if I scroll down, you can see Micah's school calendar. It says subscribed. I'm going to tap on the little I next to it. And keep in mind, if you don't recognize that, just tap on the unsubscribe button. Again, a lot of times viruses come in directly through your calendars. It sounds weird, but essentially they can subscribe as a calendar on your iPhone and then download any kind of virus or spy on you. So if you see anything on here you don't recognize, unsubscribe. 
the last thing I would recommend doing is going back into the settings. So hop out of here. Let's go back to your settings and go back to the very beginning of your settings. And now from the beginning of your settings, tap on the general option right here, midway down. And then we're going to tap on software update, but we're not going to just do a normal software update. We're going to tap on where it says automatic updates at the very top. The reason for this is you want to turn on automatic updates. In addition to that, potentially you can turn on beta updates as well. Essentially, this will help prevent any kind of virus coming into your phone. A lot of times these iOS updates will have built in protection for any virus that might be popping up on your iPhone. Hope this helps. If it did, again, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.